Hi, welcome to our vlog. Um, normally do this with JK, but as it's um, birth stories, I thought I would go this one alone. So, just talking about what happened before I gave birth, I did have a birth plan. I just downloaded the NHS one because it was easy. Um, they give you nice sort of categories to fill out, so I thought that was the easiest thing to do. And the midwife kept saying, Have you done your birth plan yet? So, probably about 35 weeks, maybe a little bit earlier, I did that. Um, I was very realistic, I wasn't the sort of person who was like, I want this, I want this, I want this. I knew, I, I sort of knew that things could change, but I knew fundamentally what I wanted. I wanted an active birth, I wanted uh, to move around and not be on my back. I didn't want drugs if possible. Um, and the other preparation I did was doing pregnancy yoga and learning how to breathe properly, which in hindsight was the most valuable thing I did out of any preparation, any books I read or anything. Um, so yeah, I was prepared. I was also very scared, but excited as well. So um, yeah, before the birth, all was good. So the labour itself, my waters went at quarter to three in the morning and I said, JJ, my waters have gone. And he pulled back the cover and went, no, they haven't. And I was like, yeah, they have. And I got up and they gushed everywhere. Uh, long story short, went to hospital, got assessed, got sent home, um, then did a lot of my labour at home went in when I just couldn't handle the pain anymore um, and everything was going exactly how I wanted it um, I was dealing with the pain I think okay I got in the water I was dilating but then everything went wrong and um, basically I was 10 centimeters and pushed for two and a half hours and he just wasn't coming and it went from being a really calm lovely water birth um, which is what I wanted to being an emergency situation um, the red button was pressed and suddenly I was moved from my birth centre to a labour ward and the room filled with people and uh, that is how my boy was born unfortunately. Um, we had a failed von Tuss attempt and then he was born after an episiotomy and forceps. So it wasn't quite how I imagined but the main thing was he was delivered safely. So after giving birth to my boy Noah, that's the bit that still upsets me a little bit actually because that's the bit that I really just didn't sort of go to plan. I wanted skin to skin, which is what they recommend, I think what all mums want. And he was kind of whisked away from me quite quickly. And I got to hold him for probably two minutes and then he got taken away again while I was stitched up, which took almost an hour, um, which isn't that bad by the way, because they numb you, so that is like the least of your worries. Um, but that took like an hour, but the nice thing was um, Jay, my partner, got to have skin to skin with him, bless him, um, and that was really sweet to watch, but I was like aching to hold my boy. Um, and that actually makes me feel upset. Um, but I, I can't talk, I find it really hard to talk about. Um, Sorry, I've not really actually talked about this to anyone since so. then. But ultimately all was fine. Um, I did get to hold him after probably about an hour and that was just, it's just the most amazing feeling really. And I can't believe I'm getting so upset. Okay, right, well, I've calmed down a bit because um, I don't want to sort of scare anyone about <laughs> labour and stuff. Because this is what you get at the end of it. You get a cheeky, cheeky monkey like this. Um, he makes my life amazing every day. So, does he have to the camera? No, he's watching telly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just thought I'd finish on a happy note.